I have a, a scene to show you about confrontation that took place very recently. Um, and I guess, yeah, it's, it's to show again the dynamics kind of metaphorically of how we worked through that as a system. Um, yeah, so I, I'm just thinking, about, are, you, are you guys up for reenacting that with us now? Like, are we gonna, I think we gonna it would be quite important to make sure that everyone's aware of the background leading up to the confrontation. Yeah, that's it. That's a, no, that is a good point. Um, okay. So the background leading up to this confrontation um, is, yeah, we, we should definitely say our piece on this. Um, so we've been in trauma therapy for a little while now, um, and this had come about when we were trauma processing for probably one of the first times, like quite seriously. So um, Ed had a lot of um, flashbacks, panic attacks, um, and those PTSD re reactions that kept coming back. So he was under a lot of stress and under a lot of pressure, um, and he was really suffering. I think that's probably right to say, and we should kind of make that very clear, is that Ed was not in a, a great way when this next bit of, I guess this bomb was dropped on him at the time. Um, but we felt that it was really important to bring this to light to kind of show you how we manage as a system and how it's important that each part of us is heard. And I think that's the, the moral of the story going forward. But yeah. Yeah. Are you sure, are you sure you're comfortable with this? Don? Yeah. No, I, yeah, yeah. We, um, it's, it's happened and all we're doing is doing it justice, I think, by um, getting it out there. And um, they now know because you gave such a great context to what happened. So thank you for that. Thank you, sure. Yeah. Yeah, you sure. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Okay. okay. Um, so yeah, I think we're all... <laughs> we're about to stop. Okay. Yeah. You look great. <laughs> Don't you look great, boy? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so nerve wracking. <laughs> there was a comment that it just said, "Can Ed speak up a little more?" And I, I think, I think they'll be, they'll be right in this next. I think they'll be right in this next. But yeah, you definitely don't need Ed to speak up any more than he already is. Um, okay. 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 Good. I need to talk to you. Okay. What about? You should know what about. Can I ask exactly? I don't know. Can I ask exactly why you thought it would be okay to put our past online? Wait, what? Is this the magazine sponsor that asked us to do the video on um, the trauma stuff? That's exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. So, why did you feel it was okay to put our trauma online? I didn't mention any details. That's not the point! The point is, is that I agreed to do this YouTube nonsense with the condition that you didn't put any of that stuff online. I'm sorry, look, I, I just felt that it was the right time. I had, I had watched, um, I had read these articles and they really spoke to me and said that, you know, they had been through the same and I felt like it was the right time to say me too. Well, you thought fucking wrong! Ollie, cover your ears. What? Cover your ears. As I said, the only thing that I asked was that we keep all this stuff private. But now half the fucking... No nosy prick has the right to be tuning into this kind of stuff. And now half the fucking internet knows. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... There was no details mentioned. It doesn't matter about the details. You crossed the line. You disrespected me. You put it out there. I just can't believe you do something like that. I'm really sorry, Ed. I'm really, really sorry. I, I, I didn't mean for that to happen. I just, like I said, I, I saw the articles and I felt like it was the right time to say me too. But it wasn't. It wasn't the right time to say me too. But you think, fine, it's okay, I can do it. People will step in. Everyone else will be fine. There's loads of us. It's okay. Ed doesn't fucking matter, does it? <sighs> Meanwhile, we've got Jake. Over here, stepping in anytime I try and bring anything up. Anytime I want to do anything, criticise you, any means. He just comes in and puts words in my mouth. Puts words in your mouth. Do you not see how you're being manipulated? That's not fair, Ed. <clears throat> Jamie, are you going to do something about this? Like, he's your husband, man. Like, mm. what do you want me to do, Jake? 
Put a leash around his neck and take him for a walk. <laughs> Fucking disrespectful. Jay. <sighs> You're right. Ed's right. I'm sorry, Ed. I didn't realise how... how big it would be to actually get this stuff out in the open. I didn't think it would be such a big deal going into more detail. It was... it was me who told Jess to release. You're fucking kidding. Are you fucking kidding me, Jane? Yeah. Out of all people! Out of all people, you know best how I feel about us putting our shit out there, online. And you didn't even think to ask me first. I didn't know it would be so big. We've been very open for a long time, but what happened, we said, would not have happened if we were a boy. But that's when we were six years old. We had no idea how the world worked. Anyone could put two and two together and know what happened. I didn't think it would be that difficult, just going into a bit more detail. I thought it might have helped, but I was wrong. I'm sorry. I should have been clear with you. I should have asked you. I can't apologise enough. This is just fucking believable At least let me make sure you're okay. I don't need you, you to make so sure that I'm okay. I don't need you to keep an eye on me. Clearly, what I need is to be able to say my piece, put it out there, and get fucking ignored. I you won't to be ignored. DID I STUTTER?! Jake, just, it's okay. What? No. <laughs> Jake? No. Ed needs to be able to say his piece. So let him say it. But he doesn't talk to anybody else but Jess like this. Like, it's not her fault. It's not then her whose her. fault is it? It's not fair. I don't see anyone else putting words in her mouth. Jake. Ed deserves to be hers. So let's hear it. All right. Well, I'm sitting right here next to Jess. Oh, God. This victim shit just needs to stop. Victim shit? Yes. Victim shit. You put yourself out there as this fucking role model. You get us in, you give us fucking scripts, you set up a load of fucking cameras. It's ridiculous. And when I want to come out and put something nice on, it's not allowed. We just look like garbage all the time. Ed, your definition of looking nice and my definition of looking nice are two completely different things. Like, I don't want you to put us in figure hugging outfits and show some cleavage because some disrespectful guys out there, if they can call themselves that, think it's their entitlement to ogle us. Oh, fine! It's fine if they look at us because if they look at us and we look nice, then they'll like us and they'll be less likely to hurt us! Do you not see how that's a messed up concept? Do you not see that that's been instilled in us, instilled in you? So what? Are you just going to walk around like a fucking nun for the rest of your life? Right? And when I want to come out and wear something nice, put a bit of makeup on, maybe do I hair properly? Do you not see? Do you not see how that's such a messed up core belief? And do you really think that that core belief is going to keep us safe? Stop psyching me! Jess, this is it. This is my fucking point. You're always in, in, in everyone else mode. You're not in you. Do you know what I mean? I'm not allowed to, to, to project at all who I am. It's always me taking your bullshit. Everyone's fucking bullshit! Okay. Is there anything else anyone wants to say? No. We went... We went off point. But that, that's it. It stands. To all of you. No more putting our shit on the internet without my consent, without something. That sounds fair. Jess? Oh, fine, Janie, fine. Just... Oh, I just feel like Ed's trying to silence me. I'm not trying to silence you. I'm trying to empower you so you can move on, so we can move on. Just, just, just stop it! Just stop! Like, I'm just so sick of these conflicting thoughts and feelings and emotions about the right thing to feel and think and do. Go on. You want Ed to return?
return the clothes you bought? Oh, Jamie, it doesn't even matter right now. Do we have to have this discussion? Can we just, can we just leave this alone? I just, I want you all to leave me alone. I just want to be normal for once and not have to deal with this crap. Just, everyone just go away.